Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I want to share <clears throat> some thoughts with you this morning. As I woke up, was praising and worshiping the Lord, worshiping the Lord. These words came out of my mouth. worshiping God as my Jehovah Savachov the Lord of hosts as I proclaim this as Jehovah Savachov the Lord of hosts the presence of the Holy Spirit just came upon me And he told me these words. That I am not only your Jehovah Savahov. He said, I am your resting place. He said, as you rest in me. I fight your battles for you to heal you to complete the healing process and I began to understand why many Christians many children of God don't get healed even though they believe God to heal them Even though we believe we receive God's words in our heart to heal us. But we don't allow the healing process to take place in our physical body. Because many are trying to fight for themselves instead of resting in Jehovah Savahov the Lord of hosts to fight their battles for them they are doing so much with their own strength instead of resting in their faith with their faith in the Lord resting upon the word of God so that Jehovah Savahov, the Lord of hosts, will fight for them as they are resting in him, believing in him to work the process for them. They are struggling in themselves based on what the word of God says and what the contradictions of the world concerning their physical bodies. They pay attention to what the world is telling them, to their feelings in their bodies, to what the doctors have said. Those contradictions, conflicts with the world of healing that have been sent to them. So that even when the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sahavov, is waiting on them to start resting with their faith in him. They are not able to do that. They fight against themselves. They go back doing the same thing they used to do instead of holding on and resting in the Lord so that God's word will work on them to complete the healing process. Many have missed their miracles. The moment when the angels or the word of God wants to complete the process in them. You see when we rest in God. He works for us. 
<laughs> he fights the battles you cannot fight for yourself. He fights it for you. Maybe you are sick with cancer right now. And the doctors have placed a death penalty on you. They tell you you have three months to live, two months, two more months or one week to live. I want to encourage you today. Jehovah Savahov is ready to fight your battles for you. When his word becomes flesh in your body is the time when you begin not to only ponder about it inclining to that word on that word to work for you is the time when you begin to praise and worship him for what he has already done you don't think about what the doctors have said you don't think about what your situation has said you don't consider all of those things we consider God's word and God's ability in our life as the Jehovah Savahov to fight your battle for you when you cannot do anything any longer. That's the time when you rest in him. That's the time when you use the opportunity to take a Sabbath in his presence. To begin to rest in him. And let his world begin to walk. Hallelujah. In a way you do not understand. In a way you do not comprehend. Because the mysteries of God. Is so great. You cannot understand it. And you can't. You don't even try to figure it out. How is going to heal you in your body. Stop it. That's how you miss your miracle. Because the moment you're trying to figure it out, you're preventing him from walking in your, in your body. The holes of heaven are available for you to heal right now of your coronavirus situation, of the cancer in your body, of the deformity in your body. Jehovah Savahov walks and he can only walk to the extent that you allow the lords of hosts to walk in your body. But if your heart is still struggling to accept him as your Jehovah Savahov, then the healing process is being hindered. Because you need to acknowledge that he is the Lord of Lords. And he is the King of Kings. God wants to heal you. But you've got to get to the place where you begin to rest on his promises to you. In his word. By his stripes. You had been healed. Rest on it. Take a break. And rest on that word. He sent forth his word. And healed you. He healed them and delivered them. From their destruction. You can rest in it. Lying down in bed, playing that praise and worship music, listening to all that precious, preaching the word of God on your CDs. Instead of thinking about the situation, or instead of thinking about your family's situation, instead of thinking about what is going to happen to you when you are dead, that's the lie of the devil. 
God says he wants you to rest in him. That's my word for you today. And that's what I want to encourage you with this very day. Jehovah Savahov is working on you. The Lord of hosts is working on your behalf. The moment you begin to rest in him, he will fight your battles for you. Hallelujah. He will do things for you that you do not comprehend, that you cannot do before. And as you rest right now, and as you are resting right now, let this word of encouragement give you strength that God is fighting for you when you've reached the point, you face the, the reach the end of the tunnel and you cannot return anymore. Begin to praise him. Begin to worship him. Begin to declare him as your healer. Because he's ready. At that very point, Stop fighting with him. Stop struggling with his word to heal him. Jesus already did everything for you. Colossians 2.15 said he made a public spectacle of the devil on the cross at Calvary. You can stay healthy. You can stay strong. Knowing fully well that he's fighting for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this wonderful revelation of you, are Jehovah Savahov, unto my brother, my sister, in that hospital bed right now, sitting down at home, sick in their body. When they can't fight their battles for themselves anymore, when they don't know what to do anymore, you are fighting for them. I thank you for the healing process. It's released right now into their situation. As I dispatch ministering spirits, ministry angels to touch them wherever they are right now in their resting places. Father, I bless you for it. As they rest in you, you reveal your love unto them. And I thank you for a full recovery concerning these ones right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Brother, sister, Jesus loves you and so do I. I want you to click on our contact button. Let us know what the Lord is doing in you. How he has begun to heal you. And until I see you next week. This is Abraham. Letting you know. Jehovah. Savahov. Is fighting your battles for you. You are a winner. In Jesus name. Amen.